First Lady and I would like to do what has become a tradition and, and uh, read the story the night before Christmas. So if I can find my place here. Let's start. <laughs> Was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, about dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump and a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laid his finger aside his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The First Lady is... Uh, going to read the next story. And they all have a copy. Everybody's got a copy. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to have to depart. So, mm -hmm. I have a Merry Christmas. And thanks for coming <laughs> to the mansion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're not going to turn? Okay. And Miss Susie here is going to turn. So as I read, you will see the pictures. And you can follow in your book if you like as well. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to follow, follow along with me? Okay. Yeah. She's going she's gonna to hold the pictures out, too, so we can all see. Okay. All right. Let's follow along. Okay. Right. Let's follow <laughs> this is called Santa is Coming to West Virginia. And aren't you going to be in West Virginia, Santa? He says, yes, he is. Well, 
Boone, Santa. Have all the children from West Virginia been good this year? Well, uh, mostly, answered the little old elf as he bustled across the busy workshop to Santa's desk. Santa peered down at the elf from behind the tall, teetering piles of letters that the children of West Virginia had sent him. Mostly, asked Santa, looking over the top of his glasses, yes, but they've all been especially good in the last few days, said the elf. Jolly good, chuckled Santa. Then we'd better get the presents loaded up. Are you getting them loaded up, Santa? We're loaded. <laughs> Even though the sack of presents was really, really big, and the elves were really, really small, they seemed to have no trouble loading it onto Santa's sled. Though how they managed to fit such a big sack onto the sleigh, even though they didn't know. But somehow they did. Splendid, boom, Santa, we're ready to go. Uh, or not quite, Santa, said the little old elf. One of our reindeer is missing. Uh-oh. Missing? Which reindeer is missing, asked Santa. The youngest one, Santa, said the elf. It's his first flight tonight. I've called him and called him. But just then a young reindeer strolled up munching on a large carrot. Where have you been, asked Santa. But the youngest reindeer was crunching so loudly that it was no wonder he hadn't heard the little old elf calling. Oh well, never mind, said Santa, giving the reindeer a little wink. He took out his Santa nav and tapped it to the coordinate coordinates for West Virginia. This will guide us to West Virginia in no time, as the reindeer was going crunch. With a flick of the reins and a jerk of the harness, off they went, racing through the sky. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. We'll soon have these presents delivered to the mountain state. Santa's sleigh flew through the starry night, heading south across the Arctic Ocean. On they flew into the wintry air, crossing over Canada. In the wink of an eye, the sleigh was flying above the Great Lakes and on over Ohio. The youngest reindeer was very excited. He had never been away from the North Pole before. You got a lot of traveling to do, Santa. <laughs> they had just crossed the Ohio River when suddenly they ran into a blizzard. Snowflakes whirled around the sleigh. They couldn't see a thing. The youngest reindeer was getting a bit worried, but Santa didn't seem concerned. In two miles, said the Santa na navigator in a bossy lady's voice, keep left at the next star. But ma'am, Santa blustered, I can't see any stars in all this snow. Soon they were hopelessly lost. Then through the howling blizzard, the youngest reindeer heard a faint ringing sound. Ding dong. He looked over at the old reindeer with the red nose but he had his head down. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. There was that sound again, like church bells ringing. The youngest reindeer turned around to look at Santa, but Santa wasn't listening. He seemed to be arguing with a little box with buttons on it. With a flick of the harness and a jerk of the reins, the youngest reindeer gave a sharp tug and headed off toward the sound of the bells pulling Santa and his sleigh behind him. Whoa, cried Santa, pulling his hat straight. What's going on? Then to his surprise, he heard the ringing sound. Well done, young reindeer, he shouted cheerfully. It must be the Sacred Heart Co-Cathedral in Charleston. Don't worry, children, Santa is coming. Then suddenly, crunch! The sleigh hit something as it plummeted through the snow clouds. You have arrived, said the Santa Nav unhelpfully. Finally, when the snow had died down and the clouds parted, Santa discovered exactly where they were, stuck right at the very top of the Christmas tree 
near the West Virginia Capitol Complex, where you all are this evening. Everybody pull! The reindeer pulled with all their might, until at last, with a screeching noise, the sleigh scraped clear of the Christmas tree, and Santa steered them safely over the Clay Center and the Kanawha Public Library, <laughs> along the Kanawha River, past South Charleston, above Dunbar, and down into Shawnee Park. Luckily, there was no real damage done, but the packages had all been jumbled up. Santa quickly sorted out the presents in order again. All right, said Santa. Thanks to the young reindeer, I know where we are. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming. Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop all over West Virginia, hopping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could go. There were big chimneys in Clarksburg and small chimneys in Beckley. He squeezed down thin, thin chimneys in Weirton and plummeted down fat chimneys in Parkersburg. The youngest reindeer was amazed at how quickly they went. Santa never seemed to get tired at all, and it looked like the children in West Virginia were going to be very lucky this year. But the youngest reindeer was starting to feel a bit weary and quite hungry, too. In house after house, Santa delved inside his sack for packages of every shape and size. He piled them under the Christmas trees and carefully filled up the stockings with surprises. In house after house, the good children of West Virginia had left out a large plate of cookies, a small glass of milk, and a big crunchy carrot. Santa took a little bite out of each cookie, a tiny sip of milk, wiped his beard and popped the carrots into his sack. From Huntington to Morgantown, from Martinsburg to Lewisburg, from Wheeling to Eleanor, and all the places in between, Santa and his sleigh visited every house in West Virginia. Santa delivered presents to Andrew, Allison, Anna, Arabella, Archie, Ashley, the list went on and on. <coughs> Finally, Santa had delivered the last president present on his long West Virginia list. Great moons and stars, sighed Santa. Santa. It's past midnight and my sack seems as heavy as ever. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Santa opened his sack to check, but it was full of juicy, crunchy carrots. Santa divided the carrots among all the reindeer. Well done, he said, patting the youngest reindeer gently on the nose. But the youngest reindeer didn't hear him. He was too busy munching. Then it was time to set off for home. Santa reset his Santa nav once more to the North Pole. And soon they were speeding along New River Gorge over Babcock State Park, past Harper's Ferry, and out along the East Coast through the crispy, starry night. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. <coughs> Merry Christmas, West Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a lot of carrots. <laughs>